Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, WPW isn't going anywhere. This will be the latest video in my world. So, this is a review of World Wrestling Federation Superstars on February the 15th, 1992. So before I get into the, uh, the matches and the shenanigans that were going on on this show, I'd just like to say that um, I'm not closing this channel. Why would I do that? So I'm going to be doing a few... Uh, alterations so um, soon you'll see some changes hopefully some you'll enjoy my changes hopefully <laughs> hopefully I won't get booed out the building hold on I'm not the miss but yeah so um, hmm. stay tuned but here yeah so this is the World Wrestling Federation Superstars! February the 15th, 992. So, the, the show didn't actually have a match until about 15 minutes in. So, it basically started with them showing... First, they showed the clip of um, from the Rumble, where Sid Justice um, eliminated the immortal Hulk Hogan. Mm-hmm. And then they showed the clip in the press conference, or like a bit where Sid was talking to them, saying, "Oh my God, this is disgraceful. This is biased towards towards the to Hogan and everyone. You you don't like me, Jack Tunney." So um, yeah. However, this is and so that, that was that, and then they went um. And then they showed the Saturday Night's Main Event where Sid Justice apparently turned his back on Hulk Hogan. He didn't, he just jumped off the rope, he didn't turn his back. And then he turned around, almost punched Brutus the Barber Beefcake in the face and brought Brutus who came back from an injury at that point after a power gliding at powerboat accident. And he had like 28 things in his, his head. Um, almost punched him. So Sid became a heel. And then... What happened after that was that uh, Jack Tunney released a statement. So they went to update and Jack Tunney said the accusations to his office and the accusations from Sid himself to Jack Tunney resulted in WrestleMania 8 now having a double main event. So Ric Flair will defend the World Wrestling Federation Championship against not Hulk Hogan, as previously announced. He will now defend the World Wrestling Federation Championship against the macho man Randy Savage, who is the number one contender somehow. On that note, later in the show, uh, they showed a clip with Flair talking and saying, and then like they're going, oh, well, we're not too happy about it. But then they twisted it straight away and went, ah, oh, Randy Savage, but we, some, we know something you don't. Hmm. And the next match was, well, the next double main event is... Hulk Hogan versus Sid Justice. Yes, that's right. Hogan versus Justice at the Hoosier Dome on April the 5th, 992 for WrestleMania 8. So, yeah, bit of, it was a bit long-winded, but, yeah, that's what happened at the start of the show. So, the first match was Omar Atlas versus Davey Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. And, uh, well, Davey won, obviously. Uh, power Sam, one, two, three, thank you very much. 
and they were saying like, oh, he get his way, he'll get to WrestleMania somehow. Vince was saying about uh, David Boy. So yeah, that was the first match. Um, then the next match was a tag team match, and that was uh, Chris Germany and Larry Williams, and they took on the Nasty Boys, Brian Oz and Jerry Sags. Um, the match ended with Jerry Sags actually doing a, an elbow drop from the top rope to get the win. Um, it was an all right elbow drop. It's not the best I've seen, but it was, it was good. It was all right. Um, next match was uh, Todd Oberbo. Versus the Intercontinental Champion, uh, Roddy Piper. Now, I'm not sure about the end of this match because there's a bit at the end where Todd Overbo, for some unknown reason, slaps Roddy Piper in the face. Now, I don't know if that was part of the, the match or or he just did it because he doesn't like Roddy. I, I, I don't know. And then Roddy, obviously, he won and he went mental on him, raining punches on him and then put him in the uh, full Nelson and went to sleep and stuff, and obviously won by submission. But it's just like... And then he, he was like pointing at him and saying something, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if that was part of the character. I don't know if that was part of the show. I, I couldn't work it out. And so possibly, possibly Todd uh, over blue his chances. And then the, the main event, well, there was two matches. Then the next match was Rudy Gonzalez versus... The newly single wrestling person, um, Sean Michaels. Now, Sean didn't come on his own in this match. Sean came out with Sensational Sherry. And she was literally enamoured with him. Everything he did was perfect. The way she was looking at him. Oh, my God, she was in lust. Not love. Lust. And I think we all know. What well, last is, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly do. Ooh, ooh. ooh secrets. Um, yeah, so... And Sean won, but he didn't win with Sweet Gem music because that was just part of his normal arsenal at that point in time. Um, he did, like, a backbreaker and then some other really neat moves and then he lay on top of Mr. Gonzalez um, and sort of, like, with a headlock pose but without the head being in the, the headlock thing. And, um, yeah... Sean won. One, two, three, and show kissed him on the cheek at the end. Sean asked to be kissed on the cheek, obviously, because that was Sean. And the final match in the main event of the evening, this tells you how bad Superstars was in those days, uh, the model Rick Martel, who was, who was great, and by the way should be in the Hall of Fame, um, against, I don't know, because they didn't say his name, but they did say his surname, so uh, I'm going to... I think it was Terry Daniels, but I'm not sure. So I just called him Daniels, because that's all I heard. Uh, but Rick Martin won with the the Boston Crab, which was his finishing move at that point. I think this is before he had... Um, well, he did have Arrogance. <laughs> what a great, great name for that perfume it was. Brilliant. But yeah, so that, that was Superstars. It was a good show, actually. You know, I mean... The matches were. <laughs> if you're going to turn on superstars to watch, to watch high quality, greatest ma matches of all time, then uh, you're watching the wrong program. Because um, there was a few down the line, but we'll get to them hopefully late, later in my career on here. <laughs> but yeah, so that was superstars. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. Um, and uh, you're probably going to be watching, well, hopefully you'll watch this before Christmas, but if not, um, Merry Christmas to all and to all of your loved ones, to yourselves, to, um, and a prosperous new year to you all. And also, and obviously this comes from the heart myself, to all the people that aren't here, we miss you very much and we will do our best to honour you. Uh, well, on you and I, I, speaking personally, I will do my best to be more happier. But 
I will get there. But other than that, to your inside. <laughs>